Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're going to be doing a tutorial about how to get mods from the internet into the simulator. I've had quite a lot of people asking me questions about this, so I thought I'd just create a detailed uh, tutorial step by step so you can follow it and hopefully install the mods when you want to. So the first thing you want to do is go on to flightsim.to. You can make an account with them. I do that so it just tracks my downloads and helps me update things when they need to. This website is created for the community by the community, so everything's free. So nothing to, you don't have to pay for anything here. Uh, sometimes you can give donations if you want to support the, support the creators. Um, so on the left, you've got all the different types of things you can actually find, all the different mods like aircraft, liveries, scenery, countries. You can actually search by country, which I find really useful. Um, but today we're going to be looking at aircraft. So what I like to do, in each subheading you've got like all aircraft, for example. So in each subheading you've got different menus. And I just tend to click on most downloaded just to get a good idea of what's going on in this mod world. So for example, like the, a the Airbus H135 helicopter has got 153,000 downloads and it's rated at 4.6. So it's obviously a good mod. Um, so basically, guys, I'm going to be looking at the Discus uh, 2B glider today. So what I'll do is just click on the mod. And it takes you to the mod page and you've got like, images of the different different screenshots of the mod, which looks great. This looks really cool, this Discus glider. Its current version is 3.3 .3 and it's made by New KTV. The initial release was on January 24th, 2021. These get updated per periodically because the... Uh, Obviously, they're tweaking it and uh, creating better things and better coding. So that's why it's going to be updated once in a while. So keep your eyes on that. Uh, usually, they'll they'll have the information on the website here. So if I just click on download, and it will take me to download. I've got to wait about 10 seconds or so for it to download first to start downloading. And you'll see on the bottom left-hand side of my screen now, it should pop up. You've got the, uh, the zip file of the Aerosaur Discus, okay? So that's just going to download now. Once you've downloaded the mod, uh, you just click on the zip folder and it takes you to uh, WinZip uh, or WinRAR. So I just uh, click out of that for the trial. And then what I need to do is locate my community folder. The next step is locating your community folder in your hard drive. Depending on where you bought the SIM from, um, it will be saved in different places. Uh, but I bought mine from Steam and I'll show you exactly where my community folder is and maybe it will help you find yours. Otherwise, you should try and find it through uh, the C drive yourselves. So you go to C drive, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Microsoft Flight Sim. Click on that, community. And that's the community folder. So these are all the mods that I've currently got in my community folder. Once you've located your community folder, what you need to do is simply drag and drop the zip file or the zip folder over to the community folder. You just simply drag it and drop it into the folder. Now you've got the mod in the community folder, what you need to do is start up the simulator and go to the aircraft selection page. And you should see the mod is now in that, in that actual menu. So here we go, look, the Schemperth Discus 2B, that's the one I downloaded. I click on that and you've got obviously the, the liveries, the weight and balance. You can do everything with the customization. The liveries, I haven't, sometimes you can download liveries different, uh, separately, so different files. Yeah, they have extra files for the livery, uh, just so you know that. So now you've got the aircraft loaded. You can go ahead with your flight as per normal. And that's how you download and install a mod. There are other great websites for mods, which I've put in the descriptions below, including Sim Market, where it's actually payware, where you can get really good quality stuff uh, from different companies. Uh, so I'll include that in the description below. I hope this helps you understand how to actually use mods in the simulator. Um, one thing, one word of advice is that I wouldn't overload the community folder. You saw I had a lot of um, folders in mine but I actually remove them sometimes, especially in VR, because it can affect the VR. So just be careful in terms of like, if, it start, if you start getting crashes and it starts getting clunky, just remove some of those folders out of the community folder, some of the mods, 
because if it overpacks it, it's just too much information for it to load. And that's why you get problems. So just be careful with it. Just keep an eye on how many folders are actually in the community folder in terms of mods at any one time. I hope that helps, guys. Um, it's a simple way of doing things. Uh, it's not hard to use mods. Uh, just always check where you're getting them from in terms of the developer and sort of read up about them first. That's what I always do. And uh, I hope that helps. So yeah, thanks for your time. And uh, please like and subscribe if you like the content. And I look forward to seeing making it. Thanks for your time, guys. Please like and subscribe if you like the content or you find it useful. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy and have a good day.